Okay, so this problem kind of covers the whole gamut of everything that we wanted to learn about that we can gather out of an uh, atomic symbol. Okay? So usually you'll have something that shows the symbol of the atom and its mass number. Okay? This one being S32 or sulfur 32. Okay? So we're trying to figure out the atomic number, the mass number. So the atomic number The atomic number is going to be found on the periodic table. Remember, for all of these types of problems, the periodic table is like your cheat sheet, okay? So, um, all you've got to do is look at the periodic table and it tells you the atomic number for sulfur is 16. Okay, so that's that, in this particular periodic table, that one number up in the corner. Okay? The mass number That's given to you on the atomic symbol here, okay? Since it says it's sulfur 32, you know that the mass number is 32. Okay. Number of protons. So, so, the number of protons and the atomic number are always the same number, okay? So, the atomic number actually tells you what atom it is by counting the number of protons. So, in this case, the number of protons is 16. Okay? Since the atomic number is 16. And every atom that has 16 protons is a sulfur atom. Okay? Um, the number of neutrons. Well, all you got to do to figure that out is to take the mass number, which is 32, and subtract the uh, number of protons. Okay? So the number of protons is 16. 32 minus 16 is 16. So the number of neutrons is 16. You said I get a mass number and the what number? So the mass number, right, is 32 minus the number of protons. And again, these will all be recorded. So you can ask, you can just go back to them. They'll go back to them and back. Um, the number of valence electrons. So you can just look at, remember the group number we talked we talked about, or the family, right? So in this case, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Right? So there's six valence electrons. And then the number of inner electrons, so that's just uh, the valence electrons um, minus the total number of electrons. So the total number of electrons minus the valence electrons. So inner electrons is going to be 10. And in fact, you'll find that with all of the period three elements. You've got 10 inner electrons. And that's it. We finished the problem.